welcome to this year's 2022 Christmas Clean and Decorate with me. This year's theme is a cabin in a winter wonderland. This video is also gonna have to be several parts, so make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up for me, to let me know, and let's get started. To set the mood while I'm decorating, I love putting on a Christmas movie. I was gonna have you guys guess this one, but it is way too easy and I love lighting a Christmas candle. This one is apple balsam and I got it from Home Goods last year and I loved the container that it was in and it also smells amazing. So as I go through this video and we decorate together, I'm gonna to be sharing all of my favorite decorating tips. I'm gonna be sharing all of our decorations and where I got them from. I like decorating very traditionally but as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm more theme oriented this year, so I definitely want to make things look very winter wonderlandy. I almost want it to be like I'm sitting in a log cabin in the woods. That's my goal this year for my Christmas decorations. So I always start by pulling all of our Christmas decorations out of our closet. The closet I actually keep them in is in Owen's room. He is nine months old and i had to do this right before his nap i pulled out all of the decorations and put them in the hallway and then brought them into our dining room here this is where i love to just set everything out on the table so i can see what i have to work with because i can't always remember all the decor that i've gotten i have to see what i have in front of me so i'm kind of putting things grouped together this entire container is actually just Christmas ornaments and I will be doing that in part two so any boxes that are unnecessary right now I'm just gonna move out of the way so in these boxes I actually grouped everything that's gonna be going in our master bedroom Cecilia's room Owen's room and the rest are just stuff for our Christmas tree so I'm gonna pack these away for now because they will be in part two of my Christmas decorate with me. I already have so much packed into this first part that I just could not squeeze in anymore. So I definitely have to do several parts of my Christmas decorate with me because we have so much decor and I definitely go a little bit overboard. In these bigger bins, I always keep our garland and our greenery and also all of our Christmas stuffed animals and sing-alongs. This little dinosaur sings, so I asked Cecilia if she remembered it from last year and I'm not sure if she did, but she still has so much fun with these little sing-along stuffed animals. My mother-in-law had gotten us about three of these last year that you press the button and they sing and I don't know if she just hates me or if she just knew Cecilia was really gonna love them. <laughs> so at this point, I just needed to go through these bins to make sure there wasn't anything hiding in here because when I pack Christmas away, I just make it a big Tetris like game. I just put things wherever I can, wherever they fit, because I know I'm just gonna set everything on the table anyway. And we don't have that much storage space here in Florida, so I just pack everything wherever I can fit it. And so these bins now just have all of our garland and greenery in it, and I have all of our decor sitting up here. I know how much of a hot mess this looks like right now, but it really all just comes together. So these hooks I already have on top of our cabinets. I usually just leave them there because I know I'm going to put this garland up every single Christmas. So I'm going to start here because this garland always has those fake little pine needles that fall off everywhere. So I know I'm going to have to like wipe down our counter, so I don't want to decorate that, have these fall off and then I'm gonna have to clean it again. Last year, I didn't put this garland up here because I was pregnant and I didn't wanna get up on a ladder. So this year I was so excited to put the garland up and it really just makes a statement in our kitchen. And it always ends up like drawing your eye up too. So it feels like our kitchen is so much bigger when I put this garland up here. We don't usually put anything on top of our cabinets because it just gets really dusty up there and I just don't want it to look too cluttered anyway. So 
I am always excited when Christmas comes around so that I can put this garland up. So this garland I got from Hobby Lobby and it is very inexpensive because it is just plain garland. You can add like decorative things to it or whatever you like. This little wreath I got from Hobby Lobby as well one year and I always just put a little ribbon on it and hang it on top of our kitchen cabinets. This is Owen just having so much fun with the Christmas stuffed animals so I had to include some of the clips here for you and now I'm going to get started on our coffee bar. This is actually the first time I'm sharing our new coffee bar with you guys so we just built this top area and I love it. It looks so much better if you remember what was here before. Um, so I was just using that sign to start my chalkboard drawing. I do a new chalkboard drawing every season and this one I'm going to be making hot cocoa themed because I'm going to make a little hot cocoa bar here. This is definitely one of my favorite decorative areas that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I always put together a Pinterest board of just ideas and inspiration before I start decorating for Christmas. One of the things I saved this year was a hot cocoa bar and I wanted to make it so badly and I'm so happy with how it turns out. So I'm starting with the chalkboard drawing and this is also something I got inspiration from Pinterest for. I had done a quick sketch on the paper that I'm holding so that I kind of had an idea of where to put everything on the chalkboard and you'll see it get a lot better as I go. The like hot chocolate that I'm doing right now, this font gets even more detailed, but I always start out with a rough sketch first and then add in all the details later. So I know not everybody is super artsy. I love drawing. I took several drawing classes and art classes in high school, but if you are not very good at drawing, there are a ton of pictures on Pinterest, okay? And then just print them out and put them on a projector or they make little projectors for your phone. So you just have the picture project onto your chalkboard and all you have to do is trace the drawing and then you will look like you are an artist. <laughs> just an idea because I always get people that say they would love for me to come over and do a drawing for them, but obviously I can't always do that. <laughs> I am so happy with how this ended up turning out. So now that I have kind of my backdrop, I'm going to start decorating all around it. I'm going to start with just some simple garland and I'm going to put it all the way around the chalkboard. The theme, as you can remember, that I'm going for is a winter wonderland inside a cabin. So I really wanted to make it look like this was outdoorsy, like all the garland. I want to be surrounded by evergreens and just have that warm, cozy feeling inside a cabin as well. So the warm coziness is going to come from this hot cocoa bar. After I get this garland nice and attached to our coffee bar here, I was able to just kind of set it around it and it stayed where it needed to be. I'm going to clean off the coffee bar and take everything off of it so that I can put down a table runner and the rest of the decor. So I'm going to be keeping our coffee on here because this is our coffee bar, but I'm also going to be setting up the hot cocoa here in the center and then our tiered tray. So this runner I had gotten from Home Goods a couple years ago. I have one that matches for our dining room table as well. And I'm just going to start putting the main pieces back here. This is everything I got for our tiered tray. I got it all from Hobby Lobby new this year and I love these little blocks so much. They're perfect for these little tiered trays. I also got this old fashioned hot cocoa sign here for the cocoa bar and then they had these really cute whipped cream and peppermint signs and this hot chocolate sign. Everything goes perfectly for our hot chocolate bar. Hobby Lobby always has all these cute little things. I got this candy cane sign from the Target dollar shop area a few years ago. I've had it for a while. I love this little tin sign and then this peppermint candy cane garland I got from Hobby Lobby last year. I saw it again this year so it's still there 
and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cute and I definitely think it goes with like the hot cocoa bar. Okay, so if you don't see anything, you definitely need to see the end of this hot cocoa bar because it turns out so, so cute. So I'm just putting our Swiss Miss, that's our favorite hot cocoa mix, into just a clear bin on the side. And then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of really cute glass jars with all of our hot chocolate toppings. It turns out so cute, you have to see it. Anyway, so before I get started on that, I wanted to put together the tiered tray here. I love decorating this for every single season and I'm so happy with how it turns out this year. So I'm putting all of those little signs that I showed you from Hobby Lobby and just put lacing them like in and around on this tray because those are the biggest items. And that's how I like to kind of layer everything. I put all the big items first and then this red garland I got from Hobby Lobby and it's just a whole bunch of red beads and I'm just going to place it in and around on the tiered tray. It really just gives it that extra pop of color and then these peppermint candy cane, they're like little Christmas ornaments. I'm going to be stuffing inside all of the mugs that I put on here and I just thought that looked so cute with the candy canes that I have on the top and there's something just about like a peppermint hot cocoa that is just so warm and delicious. So I got this Christmas pick from Hobby Lobby. They always have so many really cute picks. They have like an entire aisle, like floor almost to the ceiling of Christmas picks. So I'm cutting off all the pieces so that I can use it as stuffing inside my tiered tray. It really just finishes off the whole piece and makes it look a lot more full and just more complete. Especially since I already have a lot of white and red in here, so this just gives it that green and fullness that it really needs. So I got all of these glass jars from Hobby Lobby. I got five of the really small ones, five medium ones, and then two larger jars. And I'll show you them all here in a little bit, but I needed to wash them all off first since I was going to be putting food that we were going to be eating. It's not just decoration into these glass jars. And after I was done washing all of them, I decided to dry them all off by hand because I really didn't want any like watermarks on these because I wanted them to look nice crystal clear has everything that I got to put inside them. So red, green, and chocolate sprinkles, white chocolate chips, regular chocolate chips, toffee. I also got peppermints and marshmallows, of course. <laughs> So in the two larger jars, I'm putting the marshmallows, of course, you cannot have hot chocolate without marshmallows. And in the other large one, I'm putting all of our peppermints. I think it's delicious to have one of these in your coffee or your hot chocolate. In the medium jars, I put just regular chocolate chips in one. These are also delicious to mix in with your hot chocolate to make it even more chocolatey. I also got white chocolate chips just to give it a little more color. And then some toffee, this one's by Heath. And then in the other jar, I decided to put these little chocolate sticks and oh my gosh, they're just so delicious. These last ones, I'm like the smaller jars, I'm putting all the sprinkles. So the green sprinkles, red sprinkles, and chocolate sprinkles. I got all of this from Walmart. And then in the last small jar, I'm putting some sea salt, this is actually kosher salt now because I didn't have any sea salt, but I really thought this needed a little board to put on. So I used a cutting board that we already had to just put everything on it to make it look more like a serving tray. And it just really finished off 
this nice little hot chocolate bar topping area. I also got these cute little serving scoops from Hobby Lobby. I thought these were perfect for these. And I also wanted to share these little signs that I got from the dollar store. So if you wanted to label everything, you could with these, they're perfect. This little marker is from the dollar store as well. It's more like a like wet crayon. I don't know how else to explain it, but it still works really well. And then it just clips perfectly onto like an open container of this and then you can use a little scoop in each one and serve it that way so i just love this idea and i would be obsessed with it if i went to a party and it was there <laughs> also love that all of the containers have lids so i can just leave it out here and i don't have to worry about having to put it away every single day or ants getting to it or anything it's part of our decor but we also get to eat it and it's also super delicious and yummy Snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size. So I'm moving under our bar here in our kitchen. I also have these little hooks here. I keep them up all year round just so that around Christmas it's super easy for me to hook the garland up right here. The first time I put the garland up right here, I thought it might be a problem if somebody was sitting here, but when we are hosting for Christmas or Thanksgiving, it's really never been a problem and usually people don't sit here anyway because our bar is just covered with food. It becomes kind of like a buffet or serving area instead of a sit down area. So our fireplace is a huge area that you definitely need to see me decorate. I just think it turns out so well, so I don't want you to miss it. But right now I'm just doing a couple small things around our kitchen. One of the things I love doing is setting up our little dish tray here. I this year decided to do just a small Christmas tree here. I thought it was just super simple and cute. And then this tray I got from Target recently. And I love it. It was only like $12 and then decided to put just a little Christmas tree and the candle on there. And I also love doing a letter board. I don't know if letter boards are still in style. I think they are. I don't know, but I'm not usually one to like follow trends or anything. I kind of just go with my own flow of what makes me happy and letter boards definitely do that. So this year I decided to do the Merry Christmas, you filthy animal quote and it just really brings a smile to me and my family. So I decided to put it right here in our kitchen for everybody to see. I like to get a lot of my decor from discount places and this one is from Burlington. They always have a ton of really cute decor that is extremely affordable. I got this little tree from Walmart this year. I thought it went perfect with my theme. I definitely went and got everything that I could that was covered in snow. I love little twinkle lights. You can definitely just get these off of Amazon. They come in really long strands, really short strands, but I love adding little lights to my decor wherever I can because at night I love turning them on and it just adds so much more like excitement to all the decorations. You can also not decorate the kitchen without some Christmas kitchen towels. It's so easy to put up here, but I promise you this is not going to stay very long because Owen is crawling around everywhere and loves to pull everything off of the counter that he can reach and these towels are definitely one of them. So this little sign I actually got from Hobby Lobby this year, I wanted to put it on top of the stove here, but it didn't fit. So I kind of had to work with what I already had. So this Christmas tree sign and these little Christmas uh, tiny trees. I don't know how else to explain these. Anyway, I got these from Target one year and I love them. I thought this was super cute. And then I decided to put that sign over here with this. I got it from Marshalls. It has a little bit of a sticker residue, but it's a little cookie tray. And I have our bottle warmer, so it's milk and cookies. So I have this little tray here. I thought it was punny. Okay, so I have some really fun ideas for our fireplace and I really hope I'm not getting in over my head on this. I hope it doesn't take me too long, but it's gonna be so much fun. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I got all of these from the dollar store. They had these really cute snowflakes. They're actually covered in like a dust to make them look like they're covered in actual snow. I got some smaller ones, bigger ones. I got some fake snow and then I also got 
um, just a smaller thing of snowflakes from the dollar store and this fishing line I got from Walmart. It's a huge thing of fishing line and I'm gonna thread all these cotton balls. I'm gonna shred them apart, make some bigger, smaller, and thread them through the fishing line to make it look like it is snowing over our fireplace. So I'm gonna show you how I hot glue them, space them apart and everything, but I'm gonna be hanging them above our fireplace like from the ceiling to make it look like it is snowing so I measured our fireplace so I knew exactly how long to make the fishing line so I'm cutting all of that to size now and then I did 18 pieces total so now I am just kind of shredding apart some of the cotton balls I'm making some bigger I'm making some smaller and just making them all different sizes because snow is not all the same. I know how cheesy this sounds and I was so worried about how this was actually going to turn out because I was going to put so much work into this. I wanted it to look good. So I am so happy with how it turns out and it's definitely a little cheesy, but I really think that's what Christmas needs to be about sometimes. The cheesiness, the corniness of it just makes it so much more fun. If you are too serious about Christmas and the holidays, like you're just not gonna have as good of a time. So I really wanted to bring that corniness and cheesiness to our decor this year. Plus everything that I put on the fireplace this year just looks so good that this snow just really ties it all together. So I got a little sidetracked, but I did one strand first so that I knew exactly how many cotton balls to thread onto each of these strands. So I had 22 cotton balls on each strand and then I lined them all up and had them ready to be hot glued so that I could do them all at once. So I'm using like four fingers to space each of the cotton balls and then hot gluing each one four fingers apart and I ended up just hanging them all here in our kitchen and then I'm going to use these hooks and I cannot reach the top of our fireplace so I will be using this little claw to hold the command hook with the strand of snow on it to stick it to the ceiling and our fireplace. And you might ask me, so Shelby, how are you going to get all of this down when you need to take all your Christmas decor down? And my answer is, I have no idea. We will probably need another ladder. Maybe if I just pull on these, it'll just come right off. I don't know. So we will find out together when that time comes. But for now, I'm going to enjoy these snowballs on our fireplace. So it was getting pretty late by the time I finally got all of these up and I worked a little bit through the night on this. It wasn't too late. I promise it didn't really take me that long. And I decided to do a couple on the ceiling as well to give it just a little bit more depth because having them all lined up like this was a little bit, um, I don't know, bland is not exactly the word I wanted to say, but it really needed some depth to it. So here is the morning after. So you can kind of see the final product in the light here in the daylight. So I added the rest of the snowflakes that I got from the dollar store. I used command hooks to hang all of those. I got this garland from Walmart and I am obsessed with it. I think it's actually really nice garland. I love that it's covered in the snow. And then of course I needed to fluff it up and I'm so excited to show you how this mantle turned out. I have been obsessed with the garland kind of going off the side of the mantle so that was definitely like my big idea for putting this mantle together. I also really wanted it to go along with my winter wonderland theme so this entire mantle is going to have everything covered in snow. So these picks that I'm adding right now I had used last year. I got them from Hobby Lobby. Last year I used them on our dining room table. So I'm just taking them and I'm kind of like fluffing them and sticking them inside the garland that I put in there. And I really just want to have this like corner on the mantle just draping over and I just think it looks gorgeous. When I saved all the ideas off of Pinterest of like mantles that were similar to this where it had it draping over the side, 
I had no idea how easy it was actually going to be. These picks I got from Hobby Lobby as well. This is the same pick that I cut apart and put inside our tiered tray. So I'm going to take about three of these and just kind of add it to the corner here to give it a little bit more fluff, a little bit more detail, and really just fill in this garland. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. I'm going to be filling in with some snow covered trees now and this smaller one I got from Hobby Lobby this year. I thought it was so cute. I grabbed a couple of them and I'm using them here on the mantle. This black and white Merry Christmas sign I got from Target one year and I think it's so cute. They always have so much really cute decor, Christmas decor, like in their dollar shop area. And then these Christmas ornaments I got from Walmart this year. I was so happy with a lot of their selection. And I'm going to be using these just kind of in and around on the garland to give it just a little bit more pop. I'm just placing them there. I think I will go back though and put hooks on them so that they stay a little bit better just in case somebody brushes up against this. I think I also want to group like three of them together so I'll tie three of them together and then put them in. But I am just so happy with how this fireplace turned out. I am just obsessed with it. And after this, I'm going to be sharing one more thing that I did in part one of this Christmas decorate with me and then you will have to wait for part two but i promise it is going to be just as good as this one and this wall here i just put up a gallery wall so i'm going to put a whole bunch of pictures in these frames and this year i printed out all of our christmas pictures so my plan is to change out these frames with like seasonal pictures i'm going to put fall ones in there i'm going to put christmas ones in here and then i think for spring and summer they're probably going to be the same but you kind of get the idea so every single year we are going to be able to enjoy all of our favorite christmas memories and family pictures and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. This is where I'm gonna be leaving part one of my Christmas clean and decorate with me. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the other parts. I'm probably gonna have like a part one, two, three, four, who knows, <laughs> but we got a lot more decorating to do. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me and I will see you all right here next week in a brand new video.